Eric, and we're gonna be talking about this watch right here, the Tudor Black Bay 58. This is the 925. One thing I will mention is that I don't believe that, you know, like people say, oh, you're gonna settle for a Tudor instead of a Rolex because you can't get one. That's ridiculous. First of all, Tudor is killing it, and Rolex is not. Uh, Tudor has been just killing it, and everything that they've been doing from their 39 GMT to the Pelagos 39 to the Black Bay 58 line, the blue that blew out, uh, to this silver, to the gold, to you know the original Pepsi. I mean, they are doing nothing but hit after hit. They really are. They're doing a great job. Um, so uh, there is no sacrifice. I mean, other than the value for money is what you're really getting here. I mean, uh, if I could buy any watch and own any watch for the money, it's definitely Tudor. Tudor's just amazing at what they're doing. Uh, and the Kinesi movement, fantastic. It's found its way into a number of other watches from Norcane to, uh, you know, obviously Shell was, Ch Chanel was part of it, uh, the manufacturing, but Chanel, Norcane, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Breitling, and of course their movements. Uh, it's a really good movement. It's fantastic, and I'll tell you what, it's been keeping better time than my Rolex. Uh, so I absolutely love it. And also, the one thing that's really important, the bezel action oh my god that 60 click bezel with the ball bearing wow it's incredible so we'll take a look at the watch right now okay here we are uh, black bay uh, tudor black bay 925 and this is black bay 58 series um, a lot different than the black bay 58 uh, stainless and uh, i have both um I use the Black Bay Stainless sometimes as a, as a daily driver. This I actually use more in, for dress or things like that. It's really super versatile. Um, uh, first of all, it's 39 millimeters. It's 11.9 thick. That's even with a display case back. Some people ask, why the hell would you want uh, you know, an open case back with such a utilitarian looking movement? The movement, I don't mind it. I think it's super cool. I think it matches the watch, you know, and uh, I, I like it. So it's 70 hour power reserve, of course. Uh, it's 47 lug to lug. So it's really that sweet spot. I mean, nobody can deny that about Black Bay 58. It's the 39, 47 lug to lug. And even with this being 11.9 thick, it's really an amazing watch. Uh, Dome Sapphire Crystal. Uh, has the Tudor 5400, uh, can you see movement, 70 hour power reserve. Um, the, the big difference here, I think, is that um, the, uh, the bezel is just ridiculously outstanding uh, the, and the grippiness. Uh, also on the crown itself, for some reason being silver, it's super grippy. Uh, and of course, this is different than most any. If you haven't felt a Tudor uh, bezel, you should because this is actually a ball bearing in there and it's very different it's amazing it's my favorite you know aside from one other watch which if i mentioned what i liked you probably think i'm crazy but i'll mention it i love the the seiko marine master um bezel but this bezel is just there's nothing like it i believe that damasco also uses uh a, a, they use a ceramic ball bearing i haven't felt one but i've heard they're amazing um so this watch and the reason why i love it so much is the whiteness of it everybody comments on it i mean look at this <laughs> this strap i have on it right now it's uh it's really super cool like a powder blue uh strap but also you could put this on anything. I mean, this is the beauty of this watch. This thing looks great. It's the taupe, taupe dial, taupe uh, bezel. And this is like a magenta. So you could do that. You could put on uh, this green even. It's like really wacky green. It just is super cool. It really looks good with everything. So you can change it up a lot. That's what I like about this watch. I, I change uh, uh, straps and often with it. This is my favorite um, that I that I go with. Um, and uh, this watch is by Woolbrook. I mean, the strap is by Woolbrook. Um, the reason why I went with this is that they had the colors that I wanted. But this Woolbrook strap is really beautiful. It's supple. It's great, and uh, it's fantastic. In conclusion, uh, one of the greatest things about this watch is that it is very versatile. As I showed you, uh, straps, you can do anything you want with it. Dare I say, it could even be a dress watch. I know I'll get in trouble for that, but a diver's a dress watch. 
I know it's a point of contention, but I think it can be done with this one. It's special, it's different, uh, it's bright. Uh, and there's also an option to wear stainless bands with it. I know people wouldn't agree with that either, but in my next video, I will show you both the 925 as well as the regular Black Bay 58 Blue, and I'll show you options for um, stainless uh, bracelets that are not Tudor brand. Uh, so uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.